Welcome back, everybody, to another Let's Play Risen 2 Dark Waters. I am Zex, or your host. This is part 105. Uh, at the beginning of this episode, it'll be a little bit different than uh, we do in other episodes. We're going to take an alternate, or we're going to look at something we could have done while we had Sebastiano under uh, our voodoo spell uh, before that we didn't do. Per user request, uh, I'm going to show you what would happen if you would, if we, or what we, what would have happened if we had taken Sebastiano and had him talk to Patty, because Patty we know is a big fan of Sebastiano. So let's have her do that. So we'll go one, and Sebastiano becomes our slave. Sebastian's like, okay, I'm a slave. And then we go this way. Okay. Do, do, do. <laughs> He's just so awkward in running, too. I love it. He's like, burr, 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 burr. He's like, I ate all my chicken and dumplings this morning, and now I waddle when I run. It's funny. No, I'm joking. Uh, but he, uh, he just looks so snooty and stuff. It's hilarious. Okay, let me have him talk to Patty. Here we go. Hello. I mean, yes. What is it? You're not fooling me. What are you up to? Nothing. I'm not doing anything. Not stealing the ship, then? No. Stealing? I'm reformed. I'm not that kind of pirate, or, or a pirate at all. You're eyeing up my black pity. Why? Oh, I, I hadn't noticed it. But, but it is nice, if you like that sort of thing. What I remember is what happens to pirates in my city. We're not causing trouble. Not up to anything suspicious or dishonest, really. <laughs> you should see your face! What? You! It's you! <laughs> yep, it's me! <laughs> I enjoyed every second of that. <sighs> You're gonna get yourself discovered acting like that, idiot. Uh, so there you go. That's what happens when you do Sebastiano and talk to Patty. <laughs> awesome. I wonder if I could talk to Hawkins or Batesy. Probably not now. Ah, Commandant. Now, I know what this might look like, but if you'll let me explain. <laughs> Our plan is working. Yeah, see, Chani's not full. All right. <laughs> that was awesome with Patty. Patty's like, what? You... I <laughs> doesn't even know what to say. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so that was that part of this Let's Play. <laughs> love it, love it. I like that this game has such a sense of humor. That's awesome. Okay, so we were going to do this in this house, um, but the guards are still there. We need somewhere to sleep anyway. So I am going to temporarily do this. Let's do this. There are a couple of temples that we did not yet loot that we can actually get, we can use our monkey to get, uh, over in Takarigua. So let's, Takarigua. So let's go there first. And we'll use our monkey to loot those two temples, and we'll come back here. And uh, if it's not the right time or whatever of night, then we will go ahead and um, make it the right time. It's time to set a new course. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, so here's Takarigua, so let's go there. Can I skip this? Yes. Skip, yes. Alright. So, now... I don't know, let's see. Okay, the fast way is going to be, um, oh, I'm an idiot, wow, 
Nope, not Takarigua. We want Sword Coast. Totally went to the wrong place. All right, let's try this again. Patty, let's go again. It's time to set a new course. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, we're going to go to the Sword Coast. That's where we need. That's where the two temples are. My mistake. Sorry about that. Yes. And yes. Okay. So now, you'll note that we are up north here. Because obviously we can't go here anymore because if we went to Puerto Isabella, they'd probably shoot the ship down. Okay, so I'm going to jump to here. Yes. The first location is this temple up here. So, oh, hi. Well then. I did not know Blue Cloud Monkey was going to be right there. <coughs> kill you. If I can hit him. Wow. You're good at evading me. I did not realize there'd be a blue claw monkey right there. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, um, let's see. Which way? Oh, yeah, this is the way I want to go. Okay, so go this way. Hey, there's another firebird. Guess what? Ow. Nice, so a lot of these things respawned. That's good. Well, it's good and it's not good, right? It's good in general, but it also makes it make means that I have to fight these things myself again. Before I can even get in. Okay. Right, so let me save it. Oh yeah, that's right. I also need the ritual knife. I don't worry about that at the moment. Alright, so I'm trying to remember where the doors are, but I do remember that there are doors here that... So that one opened if I had the altar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or if I had the idol, I should say. Right. So it's up here. Okay, I couldn't remember where up here. I just remembered that it was up here. Okay, so. Whoops. Now, climb. Okay. Okay, so here's part one. Say this. Okay, so nine. Let's go, monkey. Cool monkey. And go back underneath. Go back to me. Okay. Did I grab a spear or did I? Oh, maybe I didn't get a spear. I don't know. Whatever. This game with like grabbing things off the ground sometimes, right? So it's, I guess I don't worry about it too much. Another statuette. And of course, I have to assume that traps will be going off, so I have to be ready with a space bar. You just kind of assume that in this game now, I've come to learn. Whether there was just a single ghoul in the one temple or not, you just kind of figure that there are going to be traps trying to kill you. So. Alright, and we'll do this one as well. Oh, serious? <laughs> I just reloaded. I hit F9 instead of 9. 
Wow. <laughs> I love how I do the dummy. I am so, uh, what do you call it? I am so, um, just, uh, absent minded. And I'm not that old. <laughs> I can't wait till I'm like 90 or something. I'm just gonna, like, be talking and drool. I'll just be talking and drool, basically. Okay, let's try this again. Nine, normal nine. Pull out the monkey. There we go. Okay, so now we have the other door open. There's probably going to be something in here. Another warrior. Well, maybe not. No warrior, actually, it looks like. Sapphire and a gold nugget. Nice. That's it on this side. It's looking like it. Alright, so now we'll use the map and jump to the Shaganumbi Temple. This is the other one that had a spot where I could get in with a monkey. And uh, also where. Um, oh, come on. I hung up on that geometry. Uh, also where um, there was the one path past Samir that we had not explored previously. So uh, we'll do that now. I'm now welcome in the village, according to the chieftain, so I should be able to go in the temple anyway, whether Samir would guard it normally or not. I think just past him won't be anything, right? Because I talked to Yizakel, uh, Yizakel before, and uh, I don't really think there's probably... Come on. Yeah. Now go. There we go. I've already looted these, but I thought there was somewhere, maybe not, no there is, I think it's the other path probably, let's do that. This is the one, okay. So, save it. Nine. Little monkey. Go clear the, or go pull the lever on the other side. Lever's over here, okay. And go back to me. Alright, and... Oops, now I will loot these. Okay, and this one. All right, and be ready with my space bar, of course. I don't know that there are going to be anything, any uh, evil guy, any bad guys, in, or enemies in here to fight. Right? I think these are just what the Shaganumi have been putting in their sarcophagi in their active temple, right? So it should be fine. But... Okay, and finally... Okay, and I believe that's it for this. So now, I will jump with the map back to here. Yep. And that's where we'll end this episode. Uh, 105, Let's Play Risen to Dark Waters. I've been Zexor, your host. In the next episode, we'll get back on the ship and head back to Caldera and continue where we had left off last time. Until next time, see ya!